Hey guys, I'm Poncho Mola from Rob Zombie 31, and you're watching Without Your Head. Station of decapitation without your head. And we're here at Boston Underground Film Festival at the Harvard Film Archives. And I'm with Jen Wexler, director of The Ranger, which had its premiere last night. Yay! Yeah. How was that to watch a movie in front of the audience? It was super cool. Yeah. It's always like very insane mm -hmm. watching a movie with the audience and hearing like when people laugh and right. and also hearing like responses that you're not that expecting. You're not ex mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like I mean that's one of the most like magical things about um, making a movie is when you then share it with people and see how people react to this thing that you've been spending so much time with for the yeah. past however long. <laughs> Were there any any things that you was un unexpected? Um, no, because now I've watched it a couple of times okay. with a couple of different audiences, so now I'm like pretty used to the yeah. the. Uh, the reactions like in the very beginning like when people when he like breaks out the knife that usually gets people mm -hmm. going they see yeah. the, like the absurdity of how huge his knife is and yeah, then yeah. they're like okay I know yeah. what this is uh -huh. <laughs> I actually live uh, by a ranger station oh yeah I live by State Forest and, oh uh, cool I've not seen any rangers like that in, I was just saying fortunate but it's probably fortunately there's a lot of friendly rangers out uh -huh. there right. this is uh, I kind of want to start the hashtag not all rangers <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not trying to say all rangers are psychopaths um, but this one happens to be right, right. <laughs> You'll get like a, have like clowns come after it. They'll be like this exactly. Is, yeah, when, not uh, hashtag not all clowns. Yeah. Yeah. It was actually cool to find something that hasn't been done before because mm -hmm. you know there's so many clowns and different things, and I've never seen a movie about a ranger. Yeah, I was so uh, my co-writer Jocko wrote the script when we were in college together. Mm -hmm. He wrote the first draft of it, and I was always like so into this idea yeah. of like punks versus a park ranger because it felt like something that should already be a thing. Uh -huh. uh, and then. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. always. Are you into punk? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. When I was, uh, I've been into it. Well, actually, I got into horror and punk right mm -hmm. around the same time, um, which is when I was in high school. And uh, my parents moved towns to a new school, uh -huh. and I had no friends. And <laughs> then I kind of poured myself into punk and into horror movies, and yeah. so and that kind of changed. They go together very well. They do yeah. absolutely. And I noticed there was a scumbags and superstars uh, yeah. the movie, which make I have a bunch of patches at home of a, oh, cool. on a horror hoodie. They make awesome stuff. Yeah, they um, uh, our costume designer Samantha Hawkins became very tight with them uh, while we were getting ready to make the movie, and they gave us like all this awesome like free yeah. stuff, which yeah. is so dope. Uh, do you have any on, on any of your stuff? Do you, do you have like a Do you have a, a a punk jacket or anything? I do, but not here. I'm wearing my winter coat. Oh yeah, it's very cold. It's freezing yeah. cold. Um, well, right now I'm wearing my wolf ring. Which is a very looks like, special... Yeah, I was say, it looks like a weapon. Yes. Oh, I have rings that are much more <laughs> uh -huh. weaponish than this one. I have a, actually have a bigger one. I feel like I got really into woodland creatures when yeah. I was starting to make the movie. So yeah. you just find your spirit sure. things when you're trying to make a movie go. So I have a, actually like a deer one that like the antlers come all the way out, and oh, I can wow. definitely stab somebody yeah. with that. Uh, was that one that you uh, that you got into was deers or no? I I, I really got thing? into the wolf. Okay, like the wolf became my spirit animal. Uh, Chloe, who plays Chelsea, also mm -hmm. has a ring like this, and we wear it to like screenings. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but no, I don't have any of my gear. Yeah, but here. you have it. Yeah, at home right. or at uh, in Brooklyn. Right, okay. right. Yeah. So, what, where did you film it? Uh, we shot in Brooklyn at mm -hmm. this punk club called Don Pedro in the opening. That's yeah. the opening scene, at, which actually closed. It's been open for like twenty five years or something. And it closed like a week after we shot. There. Oh wow! We were like one of the last things to be there. Um, and then the rest of it was shot uh, in like Woodstock mm -hmm. and Kingston area. Yeah, actually, you mentioned that it was a hunter, which yeah. I've been to. Yeah, because. Uh, it's a weird thing, but uh, Kevin Van Hentenrick from Basket Case. Oh, cool! You know the movie? He's, he, uh, he's a stone carver. Oh, and that's what he he does professionally. You know, since he was, and uh, he does uh, every summer. He you can go do free seminars stone carving. Uh, did you do that? Yeah, I've done it like uh, for like the last three or four years. And he's like around there. He yeah, like he's the, he's, there? yeah, he's the guy who actually teaches you stone carving. Wow, that's really so cool. No one around there knows like that he's from Basket Case or anything. They just know he's the stone carving that's guy. That's so but, dope. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Yeah, so I've been I've been carving Frankenstein's monster. Oh my god, I want to see it. <laughs> I, Where I'll, is it? I'll, I'll have, I have it on my. I'll show it to you. Yeah, I want to see it. It's not perfect. That's so cool. It's fun. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, so what was it like filming? You know, out in the in the wilderness. It's terrifying. Yeah. yeah. Everybody gets scared. Mm-hmm. Like just yeah, that happens when you see in the woods and the right. um, and uh, I got Lyme disease, nobody got Lyme disease. Right. We got all the ticks off. Everyone uh-huh. was dead. Um, I'm really afraid of animals in mm-hmm. nature, like bears. So when we were like climbing up the mountain, I was like playing like my music really loud on my phone. I was you like, that would keep them away. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, they got it. <laughs> well, it, it's either it's one or the other. It either attracts them to uh-huh. you. Or it keeps them at bay. So I was really hoping it'd be keeping them away. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, people might think, oh, it's not going to be bears. But honestly, when we were driving through the town, um, I thought it was, because there's a lot of, like, uh, like small businesses, and I thought it was, a, like, a wooden bear. And I was, and I was like, that's, that's moving. And we were like, that's a bear. It was like, yeah, it was in someone's, like, yard just walking by. Did you see the movie Backcountry? No. Oh, my God. It's about... A bear, uh-huh. and I think it's on Netflix. Anyway, you should watch it. It yeah. like, made me so. Oh yeah, bear. and then when we went yeah. back to the hotel real quick. It was uh, there was a bear uh, getting stuff out of the uh, out of the trash. And my, I was with my friend Annabelle, and she's like, "Let's go." I was like, "No, oh <laughs> like it's a wild animal. It's not." Yeah, we did get a little video of it, but we didn't go up to it. Oh my god, um, that's terrifying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bears are fucking scary. Yeah, yeah. And then you're just like, what do you do when you see bears? Like, I read that you're just like, make yourself really big and like try to scare them. But if they're with yeah. a cub, then that <laughs> Then backfires. that backfires, because then there's always a thing like play dead around the bear. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So what's casting like? Uh, the where, Where's everyone uh, that you cast as a punks? Were they into punk at all? Or No, they're all very young children mm-hmm. <laughs> no they're in their early 20s uh-huh. so they uh, some of them had I think Amanda when she was like she had gone to shows and uh, stuff but most of them like Granite's really into rap music and stuff so anyway I made like playlists for all of them and I um, Heather Buckley who's our producer mm-hmm. uh, she brought Granite uh, who plays Garth to a show and mm-hmm. he was like really excited uh about that and he like went in the pit and stuff so um uh but actually the way we started the shoot was by throwing our warehouse scene and definitely like the punk community came out and supported it probably gets everyone into it And then matching it with kind of like a killer, you know, slasher killer type of villain. And then also I throw in, you know, it's like this like girls like coming of age, young adult kind of thing. Um, I like to talk about it a lot, like kind of like a fairy tale and kind of like uh, I on set. I talked about it as like 80s dreamland. Mm -hmm. So it was never like a real like it's not take doesn't take place in a specific year or anything. But there's definitely like 
uh, you know, elements that we pull from, yeah. and then we like kind of infuse it with all these like you know this like pink and glitter yeah. and stuff too. Well, well, why is there so much pink? Is there hair other than the? Uh, the I'm just pink? really into the color pink. Oh, okay, and I you can't uh, tell that. It's all I know I'm not wearing any pink <laughs> uh-huh. right now. Um, no, I I just thought it would be really cool to watch a horror movie that also had these you like think, yeah. Lisa Frank like pink colors uh-huh and you said you wrote the the role you, you both wrote the role for, for uh, the ranger for him yeah so he well i didn't know him yet mm-hmm. but like we wanted to make this movie no matter what but mm-hmm. while we we're writing it we had him in mind for the ranger and we were watching him on house of cards and mr robot and jocko yeah. was friends with him so uh i we were just kind of you know thinking about him really like his jawline and everything <laughs> and then we like showed it to him and then um he was really into it and like being in a room with Jeremy is very creepy because sometimes he'll just like go into character. Oh, sometimes yeah. you're talking to Jeremy the actor, uh-huh. but then sometimes you're talking to the ranger. Yeah. And like, so when he started to do that during when we were like having our first couple uh, conversations with him, I was like, Oh my God, this guy is amazing. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. And just some of his looks are great in the movie. Yeah. You know, even without talking or anything. Oh, he's just like a scary man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so he was cool with it right away when you brought it to him. He loves it. He yeah. was really into it. We had like a great conversation, a great great meeting uh and he was the first person we cast but then after that i was i couldn't really like figure out how to cast the cards completely until i knew he was playing the ranger yeah. he was definitely the first person we wanted to pick it up
I think it's cool because uh, the Ranger kind of, you think it's going one way, like uh, with the history with uh, him and Chloe, uh, but it goes something totally different. And I really like the scene with uh, in the basement. The basement was super uh -huh. fun to shoot. Uh, I mean, that whole cabin was mm. like my dream cabin. It was like really special to me. Yeah. <laughs> it was like exactly how I like imagined it when we were writing, and yeah. then to like actually find that place uh, in upstate New York was like very cool. Did someone own that? Or? Yeah, it was like a guy's house. Yeah. yeah. Have they seen it? <laughs> I don't know if they've seen the final movie. Uh -huh. They were really into it. They, they were like really into us yeah. shooting there. It's like some crazy stuff going on in your basement, but they were, they were <laughs> psyched about it. Yeah. 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 So you said that uh, you got into horror movies and uh, and punk around the same time. What were like some of the horror movies that made you want to become and uh, make movies? Yeah, so I I mean, I was ten years old when Scream came out, and that was mm -hmm. that opened the floodgates. Yeah. And then uh, definitely became obsessed with like Nightmare on Elm Street and like Alien and um, well not slasher but like Rosemary's Baby and movies yeah. like that. Uh, Suspiria is fucking great. Um, yeah. And then I actually, since I, I've only worked for horror companies. Mm -hmm. uh, I graduated college and started working for a company called Fearnet, which is a, yeah, and TV TV channel, yeah. and um, that really introduced me to like horror as like an industry and as mm -hmm. a thing you could actually like have a job in, yes. which is like very exciting. And then, um, then from there, I started working at Glass Apex under Larry Fessenden. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, uh, he's in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, how did that come about, I guess? So Larry owns Glass Eye, uh, mm -hmm. and I produce for Glass Eye. Yeah. So um, pretty much every time we have a movie, we're like, what role can we <laughs> ask Larry to yeah. play? I'm always excited when I see him pop up on anything. Yeah. Um, he's great and we're still here. Oh my god, yeah, yeah we are still, he's awesome and we're still here. This is a great movie. Um, and I love Ted Gagan. He's a good friend um and so anyway with the with this movie i was like larry you're playing the uncle <laughs> and larry's just always like he's like okay jen <laughs> what tell me where i have to be and when but he's also a producer on the movie and he yeah. was like very supportive uh of the movie him and andrew bennon who produced um jug face and the woman mm -hmm. and all cheerleaders die uh they're like great yeah. Love working with uh, them. How about your parents? Were they cool with you being in the horror movies? Yeah, my parents are very uh, supportive. And mm -hmm. I think just they just, I don't know, they moved, we moved towns and then I went through my like teenage angsty period. So they learned pretty early on that I, uh, my, that angsty side of me. Uh -huh. So now, by now they're like totally used to it. Yeah, yeah. Have they seen The Ranger? Yeah, they oh, loved nice. it. They went to South By and uh -huh. they got badges so they could do like everything at South By and they were uh -huh. having, like I barely saw them, they were having like so much fun <laughs> doing the different like activations and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they, yeah, they liked the movie so that was cool. So where can you follow the Ranger? Okay, we, our social media presence is uh -huh. insane because uh, Heather's great on, with social media and so we're on Twitter, we're at the Ranger movie, we're on Facebook, where I mean, we're all the places you expect, obviously. Uh -huh. But if you go like some movie social media s sites are like, okay, they haven't updated it in like months. Right. right. Uh, but ours is like Your off MySpace. the hook and yeah. like constantly being oh, updated. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very cool. And yeah. How about yourself? Do you have like a, a page for you or? Yeah, my Instagram is Bubblegum and Blood. Okay. Um, and I'm also at Jwex on Twitter. All right, very cool. Well, I appreciate yeah. you doing this. Thank you so much. Yeah. This was really fun. Yeah, very cool. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.